I'm Scott Timms. I'm hunting with Doug Borges of Dynamic Outdoors. Over Thanksgiving weekend, my father, my brother, and my nephew came down here to hunt deer in the Boone and Crockett category. We were all successful, but the deer that I really wanted, I was looking for a mainframe eight point in excess of 160 inches, and we couldn't find one. So I returned home and stayed in contact with Doug. And as the rut progressed, he found a mainframe eight point that he thinks will go well over 160 inches. The deer is, in his opinion, approximately nine to 10 years old, and it's been very elusive. On this ranch, the deer has been sighted only four times over the past nine years. They do have sheds from this deer. So, after Doug located the deer, it's over an oak patch. He basically left it alone, and there's nobody been in here for the past week to ten days. We came in very early, walked a long way, didn't disturb it by driving in, and we're set up, and it's before one o'clock. We plan on a long wait, and we're hopeful that this deer will show up. We'll get back with you shortly. Once again, we're with Doug Morris in Dynamic Outdoors. Stay with us and we'll be right back. It's December the 15th, and uh, I'm hunting with Doug Borries of Dynamic Outdoors. Uh, I came down over Thanksgiving with my father, my brother, and my nephew. Uh, our intentions were to try to kill some Boone and Crockett deer, and we did. But there was a deer that I was particularly interested in, a mainframe eight point, which had only been seen three or four times in eight or nine years. and. Uh, after I went home, <clears throat> I asked Doug to continue to see if he could kind of get a bead on this deer. I got a telephone call a couple of weeks later that he had seen the deer once. And uh, he wasn't really sure about our opportunities, but if I would come down, we'd hunt the deer. Between the time he called me and my arrival, he saw the deer one other time. When I got here, 
yesterday. We hunted in the area where he had seen the deer previously. The deer is very elusive. And we saw some very good deer, uh, but not the one we were looking for. So we decided this morning not to hunt where he had seen the deer, but to hunt in an area adjacent to where the deer had been located. The rut's on down here. And we felt like that he might be walking across a road, little road, Sendero, that we have here. And we got in this morning. The fog was very, very heavy. And we actually sighted the deer before I could find the deer in my scope. And I had quite a difficult time. The deer crossed the road following a doe, and we were able to identify the deer and make sure that was him. <clears throat> we could see him with our naked eye. My scope wasn't foggy. I just couldn't see this deer in the scope. And uh, the doe eventually walked back across the road again. And when she did, this deer followed her. And I just had an outline of his body, I put the crosshairs on him with low magnification. And the deer uh, reacted in a manner where it appears that he's hit pretty good. And what we're doing now is we're going to wait and let the fog lift. We're going to give the deer plenty of time uh, so that if we have to do anything when we get in there, there'll be good, good light. We can see, well, the deer has to be shot again. Uh, it was a real exciting hunt. Uh, it's pretty rewarding to be looking for a deer that's only been seen four or five times in eight or nine years and to, to uh, you know, get the drop on him. Uh, we came in this morning uh, real quiet, slipped in well before daylight, and actually sat here probably a good half hour in the dark. And uh, it would have been nice if uh, it hadn't have been uh, so foggy this morning where we could have seen things a little more clearly, just basically see the outlines of deer moving. We're going to wait a minute and we'll drift in here and see if we can see some sign and maybe pick the deer up. Once again, stay tuned. We're with Doug Borey's Dynamic Outdoors Outfitters. Okay, I'm back to you with uh, Doug Borey's and Dynamic Outdoors. Very foggy morning. Just shot our deer about 40 yards over here. and We just picked up a little bit on the edge of the field here. The deer was running real low when he went out and I, we expect to find him pretty shortly. So we're going to get on this blood trail and see what we can do here. Here's a little right here. Oh, here we go. All over this cactus right here. That's good, that's good. Here's blood. Blood here. I see the butt end of the deer right there. Right there. There's blood spray right there. Oh man, look at this thing. Look at this thing. Mainframe eight. He broke a drop off right here. Look at this deer. Oh my goodness. What an, oh man, you're not going to find many eight points that are better than that right there. A couple of tiny little kickers up here, one here, one here, but a mainframe eight, heavy and an old, old deer. And this is the first time that he's ever been seen in this particular location. But we suspected that he was, might be coming into this place in the early mornings, particularly in the rut following a doe. Uh, the place where Doug saw him twice over the last two or three weeks is probably no more than four to eight hundred yards away from here. And uh, we elected to come into this Sendero uh, early this morning in the hopes that maybe he would follow a doe back and forth across it, and he did. And it was so cotton pick and foggy that the first time he came across, all we could do was ID him. I couldn't find him in my scope. And we were fortunate the doe actually tracked across the Sendero and came a little closer to us and I dropped the magnification on my scope down to three power. He stepped out at about 75 yards and just barely framed the deer up in the scope and it was very fortunate. And he probably didn't run 75 or 80 yards. Uh, so uh, this is it, folks. I'm gonna tell you, this is the deer that I got in my truck for, from 12 hours away to come down and hunt. 
and it was a very successful hunt, as it always is with Doug Boreys and Dynamic Outdoors. Stay with us and we'll be right back. Hey folks, welcome back to Dynamic Outdoors, South Texas Deer Hunting. Scott, congratulations. Thank on you. Beautiful, beautiful. Big mainframe eight point, actually the biggest eight point that I've ever seen down here in South Texas. Definite, you know, 160s or better. I'm tickled, buddy. It's one of these deer that, um, you know, I, we actually, between Roger and myself, we've seen four times yeah. in nine or ten years. This is a nine or ten year old buck right here, about as mature as they get. And every time we've seen him, what very few times we've seen him, has been right last five minutes of light. And I uh, really couldn't get a good ID on him, but uh, this past week I, I was fortunate enough to find him chasing a doe in an oat field and got some good footage of him coming in. But uh, as luck would have it, didn't have a hunter at the time. And I called Scott and said, Scott, I got you a big deer if you want to come hunt him. And it didn't take long for you to decide on him. No, and the next day I was on my way. <laughs> and he's, he's no doubt the most elusive deer on this ranch. Uh, a lot of stickers, kickers, but as far as mainframe eight point, biggest I've ever seen. I've been down here 30 years. So uh, great hunt, exceptional deer, and we'll see you guys next time on another Dynamic Outdoor Adventure.